Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to my show, Girls Gone Vegan with Stephanie and Hair. How are you doing today? Happy December, good to see you. So today we're making a delicious vegan minestrone soup. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Right now I've already got my rotini boiling because I'm gonna add it later so I wanna kinda of cook it ahead of time. So I have a big pot of boiling water and I added one box of rotini to it. You can use any kind of pasta you like, but I like um, the kind of corkscrew pasta routine. So right now I'm going to chop up some garlic. I've got my pan going with some um, virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in there. And it's heating up, so it's getting ready. So we're going to add some garlic to it. We're going to add about five cloves of garlic. And then we're going to add onion. We're going to add carrot and celery and start with that. Um, that is your mirepoix, the, your, your onion, your celery, your carrot. That is always the basic. I like to start cooking all the hard vegetables first. So I've peeled my carrots and I'm going to dice them into small bits. I'm going to add the carrots first and we're going to dice them into small bite-sized pieces. They don't have to be too small because this is a hearty soup and it's a delicious soup for a day like today. What's going on in your area? We've been raining here in California in the San Francisco Bay Area. We've had about five days of rain. I'm in Discovery Bay. The winds have been whipping for days. So they've settled down today finally. But we are definitely getting our nice winter, which is nice. I enjoy it, but I don't like to have to go drive in it. That's the only problem. I'd love to just stay home and make soup and make really comfort food in my kitchen. But of course I do work. I still have to go out. But today is the day that I get to stay home. Last week I made, which I'll make for you another time, I made some tortilla soup, delicious um, and very hearty. And it was perfect when it started getting stormy last week. And I will make that recipe for you again another time, but we've still got some of that left over, so I decided today to make my uh, favorite soup, minestrone. You can't go wrong with the pasta and the vegetables and cabbage. So for this I'm using four carrots, one large yellow onion, and like I say, I've already got the pasta cooking. Because what we're going to do is add that last. I don't want it to be all. People have different uh, school of thoughts about this. You can either keep the pasta on the side and just add it each time that you have a, have it. Um, so it doesn't get all mushy. And that's not a bad thing. A lot of times I just go ahead and add it. Sometimes it will break down though. So it's entirely up to you. But today I'm cooking it first and then we're going to add it. Okay, so I've got my carrots going there. In the olive oil. Now let's do the onion because that takes a little while to cook. I've got my big yellow organic onion. A lot of people don't like onion, but you know, we, I, they really add so much flavor to everything. I can't imagine not cooking with onion. Um, and usually they, you know, they cook down, you don't even really know they're there, but they really step up the flavor. So as Rachel Ray taught me, I cut off the ends and then I make little legs so that I can set my onion down and it's not going to wobble around. I'm going to rinse it off here. And then I cut it into half and I cut it into small strips. Then I slice right down the middle of the half and then go down. And now I've got nice chunks of onion. I'm going to get a bowl here to put all my scrap in get that out of my way. Now I'm going to do the same thing. So I take the half. I don't cut it all the way through, but I cut it in long strips. Then I go through the middle with my knife. Then I go and cut it uh, into small chunks. And it's a real fast way to get your onion cut up. Now that's ready to go. Get out of here. My dogs are in here. Get out, get out. It's not good to have your dogs in the kitchen. If I was selling this food, that would be no, a no-no, but this is just for my family, so we can have our doggies in the kitchen, but sometimes <laughs> they get away. Okay, so I'm stirring up my 
my onion and my carrot. Now let's check this plastic because we don't want to overcook it. It's done. So I'm going to pull it off the side. Now we're going to add celery. Cel celery is your, with your mirepoix and I just cut it nice and big pieces. I've already rinsed it off and I just cut the whole thing. And that's the next ingredients I want to get into this soup because it, again it's one of the har harder vegetables that take a little while to cook. So I just cut the whole thing. I've already washed it all off. There we go. Boom. Celery. I like cutting things myself instead of using my food processor. So I will use a food processor sometimes for certain things. Uh, like my, um, like when I make my beet burgers because everything needs to be so finely chopped. But when things have to be just regular size, I just go ahead and cut it myself, and I prefer it that way. So right now we've got our mirepoix, we've got our carrot, our onion, our celery, delish. Stir that up, let that cook a little bit. Now the next thing, I'm going to add some cabbage here. I've got a head of cabbage, nice organic green cabbage, one head, and I'm going to go ahead and get that going because that is something, that, so I'm cutting it in half, I'm cutting off the, uh, the bottom core, then I'm cutting it into big strips. I like the cabbage to be big, I mean real big, so I'm going to leave it in big, long, lengthy strips and we're just going to put it in there. It's going to cook down very nicely. Cabbage is a nice thing, cut this a little bit more. But I'm just cutting my cabbage. I cut it in half and I cut it into strips. Love cabbage. It's so good for you and really adds a lot. So we're going to stir that up. Get that going. And I will be posting the recipe in the group for you. Okay, so get all the cabbage going. This is going to be a very hearty soup. Lots of vegetables. Then we have some garbanzo beans and kidney beans we're going to add to it. So I'm going to put this whole head of cabbage in here because I love cabbage. Oh my gosh. I love it. So, got that all going. Okay, so now I'm going to give that a stir up too. Almost getting everything in here. Just stirring around everything really good, mixing everything up. I've got it on a fairly medium to high heat. I'm going to add, um, now I'll add some of this garlic, about five cloves of garlic. Saving the rest for my garlic bread that I'm gonna have. Make some nice garlic bread to go with the soup on this rainy day meal. So good. So let's get the garlic in. Boom. Chopped kind of big too. Everything can be fairly good size chopped. So we just want to kind of get this mixture to cook down a little bit before we add our tomatoes and the rest of our stuff. We just want to get all this stuff going good. I'm going to get this. I got a core there. Get that out. So how is everybody doing? Are you excited? It's December already. It's the end of the month, the end of a decade. Wow. A lot going on. It's very exciting. And it's, of course, the holidays. I hope you had a Nice holiday if you celebrate that, but you know, every day you should be celebrating thanks for your life and the people in it. So my zucchini, I'm going to cut, uh, cut in half, and then I'm just going to cut it in slices in half. So it's going to be fairly big bite-sized pieces, but that's good. I like zucchini, and it can be in nice big pieces. 
So there's one. About that size is fine. I always get these funny phone calls in the middle of stuff, okay. Then, go ahead and we're going to cut the other zucchini up. This is a really fast soup. Really delicious. And you can let it cook longer if you like. It's going to just taste a little bit better. So whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so now, stir all this up. I have a nice, uh, I use spike. Right now is my uh, a mixed herb uh, seasoning. My, my, I can't talk. My mixed herb seasoning is spike. And it's over here, of course. So this is nice. I'm just going to add some spike to it. I'm going to open the lid. And... Go ahead and add some delicious spike. This has got all kinds of great things in it. I always like to have a nice herb mixture on hand because then you can just add all these great flavorings. I'm going to use my organic salt grinder, give it a pretty good twist of salt, some pepper, organic pepper. I always put less salt because remember you can always go back and add more salt, but you can't take it away, so I don't like to over-salt my things. Okay, we're going to be cooking these veggies down to a good point here. Get them soft and get them cooking. It's looking good, looking beautiful, smelling delicious. Get all those uh, flavors infused, all those delicious flavors infused. So, as I've told you before, um, cooking vegan does not have to be a strict lifestyle. It's a good way to add vegetables into your life several days a week uh, to replace meatless or it can be great side dishes. People get so afraid when you say, oh, I'm cooking vegan, and they think you're, you know, you're forcing um, a lifestyle down their throat. So you don't want it to feel that way. You want it to be something good they're going to try, that they're going to love, they're not even going to think about it. So. For me, it isn't that you have to eat vegan. It is something I feel better. The more plant-based I eat, the better I feel. So I choose to eat vegan a lot of the time, but that doesn't mean you have to. Also, so I am an empowerment mindset coach at Planet Gratitude Clarity Coaching, and part of your whole personal development is to take charge of your life, to get in control of your life, take your life by the reins, and get yourself going. But part of it is to really look at what are you doing in your life in all phases, and that is how do you eat? Do you eat enough vegetables? Do you drink enough water? So those are the things. So that's why I can add uh, Girls Gone Vegan to my coaching, because that way it puts it together, taking care of your personal development, your self-care is eating good. So I'm teaching you recipes that you can make a few times a week, very simple, very fast, and you can add that to your personal lifestyle, personal, personal development lifestyle, and that is gonna help you to reach your best self ever in your transformation of uh, your personal development lifestyle. So add the vegan dish, <laughs> phone, add some plant-based foods to your diet, and you are gonna feel good, and it's gonna be a great way, but it doesn't have to be strict. You don't have to just always eat vegan. I eat whatever I want, whenever I want it, how I feel. I never deprive myself of anything. I dieted over the years. I, I had an eating disorder because I was always trying different diets and that does not work. So eat whatever you want. Just try and eat the best, most highest quality, freshest foods possible. So these recipes can really help you in that. So now I'm going to grab my uh, fresh living basil over here. Look at this. This is beautiful. I'm going to grab that and get to add that. Uh, chop some of that up. So we're going to grab it and going to get rid of the get rid of the bottom part. So I rinsed it off, I'm getting rid of the uh, stem, and 
the, of course, the living dirt part, because I'm going to be using all this. I just wring it out. I just wring it out like I would anything, like a, like a paper towel. Okay, so now I'm going to chop it up, but I'm going to get rid of all the stems here on the bottom. And then I'm just going to cut it in big chunks. This is going to bring a lot of nice flavor. It's going to make a little more Italian. And add it to my mix here. Delish. Stir that up. And everything's starting to cook down, get nice and soft. All these delicious flavors coming together. There's so many good things in this. Okay, so you're gonna love that. Now, let's go ahead and let's add the beans. So I've got organic garbanzo bean and red kidney beans. Add those. I've rinsed them off because I, I didn't make them from fresh. I bought them out of the can, but that's okay. Just rinse them off. So let's add those to your soup. This is looking beautiful. Everything's coming around very nicely. Now we're going to add two cans of organic diced tomatoes. And then we're going to add two cans of water. So that is going to be your soupy part. And that's going to be so great. And then we're going to let it cook and it is going to be ready. Now we're just going to let that cook down a little bit. And like I say, you can let this cook longer or you can eat it right away. We're going to let it cook for about 10 minutes right now. Really, I'm also going to add some Italian seasoning, some organic Italian seasoning to this. This is going to make its own broth right now with all these delicious vegetables and the water. Let's see, where's my Italiano seasoning? Delicious, I just had some. Let's find it. And where is she? Where is it? Oh, of course, the last. I love this little spice rack I have. I have some great Italian seasoning. So I'm going to add that. I like to crunch it up with my hands. I feel like that really uh, lets the flavor out better. So we're going to go ahead and Stir that around. Let this cook for about 10 minutes. This is a very, very hearty soup. As you can see, it's very, very hard. There's going to be lots of great stuff in it. So just let this cook at a pretty high heat. I'm going to take my um, pasta right now. I've got over here, and I'm going to rinse it off so that it doesn't get all sticky. I'm going to take it over here, and I'm going to rinse it off in my sink. Go ahead. We're going to go ahead and just let this sit here. I love my strainer here. Sets right at the pot. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for a little while. We're gonna work on our bread. Clean up a little bit. I always make such a little mess here. We're gonna get our bread going with the garlic bread. It's gonna be good. So what I did today, uh, you know, there's. Lots of easy things you can do. I got some great grain bread out of the bakery in Safeway. Delicious. It's a nice, fresh 
uh, bread. Look for the, you know, try and find the most high quality ingredients you can. It always helps. So we're going to get this bread going. This is a very nice uh, uh, whole grain bread. Very delish. Okay, so I'm going to get a serrated knife here. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so we're going to cut it right down the middle. We're going to make a garlic bread. We're going to use olive oil. Look at the grains. There's rye. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. And then I'm going to cut it into strips so that you just have to tear it to get your pieces. I'm not going to cut it all the way through, but just cut it into nice serving size pieces almost all the way through. Then you just rip it a little bit and boom, you've got garlic bread to go with your soup. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple handfuls of the pasta to this. Um, stir this in. Oh my gosh, this is looking delicious. Beautiful, so fresh, so wonderful. So I like to add it to it. Like I said, you can add, you can add it each time to each individual bowl if you really are worried about keeping your pasta in, you know, from mushing down or cooking down. I don't care if it cooks down. It just helps with consistency and thickens up the soup. Um, so I'm just adding a bunch to where I see enough pasta in here to look really good. Okay. That's looking good. Well, let me put one more. Two more. Two more. Ah, yeah, yeah. So I used a whole box of pasta for this one pot of soup. And like I said before, this is a hearty soup that you want to really have a lot of body to it, a lot of great vegetables, and it does. Okay, so now we're going to cut the... Um, we're going to mince up this garlic a little bit more for the bread because we want it a little bit smaller than we did for the soup. And it just takes a little bit to give it great flavor. And then we're going to uh, put, so let's get a cookie sheet here. And we're going to put the bread on the cookie sheet. Then we're going to take your extra virgin olive oil Where'd she go? There it is. And if you notice, I should be doing a thing for Safeway because Safeway has all these beautiful organic ingredients and I, you don't have to go to a specialty store anymore to buy all these great organic foods, herbs, everything. They've got it. Safeway's got you covered. I like Whole Foods, believe me, I love going there. But the store that is closest to me is Safeway. And if I can get away with going there and doing my shopping, I'm going to, believe me. Okay, so now I've added the olive oil and maybe a little bit more. Just kind of move everything around. I'm adding the fresh garlic. And you're just going to rub it in to the bread. Rub it into the bread, and that's going to give it a really delicious, rich flavor, the olive oil in your bread. And so what? If there's a little on the pan, that's going to make it good, too. That's going to crisp up the bread a little bit. So let's get that into the broiler. I've got the broiler on, 450. Let me go ahead. Get that in. And so now we are just cooking. Everything's going good. The soup is on. It's delicious. And this can be a very fast meal. It's very affordable. 
Um, this is, a, you know, you've got a whole pot of soup here to last you for a few days. I've got two people in my house, so we're going to be eating this all week long. But it's great because when I'm not here, uh, my boyfriend can just easily dish up a nice, delicious homemade soup. And I know he's eating well when I'm not here. He's eating good. And you've got a go-to all week long in this cold weather to go to and have a delicious bowl of hot soup and you can't go wrong. So I'm Stephanie Ann here. I am a women's empowerment or I actually empower anybody but an empowerment mindset coach at Planet Gratitude Clarity Coaching and uh, I'm so excited. I'm celebrating my first year of coaching in December. So I am celebrating um, by giving back to everybody in my uh, world uh, for this beautiful year I've had uh, of coaching for the very first year. And so if you join High Vibe Nation West Coast Worldwide, that is my free private group. That's where we talk everything um, high vibration, which is so key in your personal development. But you have to join the group, and I'm having giveaways and celebrating all the month of December. So you have to go into the group, all the details about what you need to do to Get into the drawing for the uh, weekly prizes that I will be giving away, and I'm going to be giving up to over $1,000 worth of prizes. This week, I'm giving away Gabby Bernstein's new book, Super Attractor. It's a, a bestseller, and if you've ever followed Gabby Bernstein, she is totally inspiring, and she's one of the big inspirations in my life. So get into the celebration for my one-year anniversary and join High Vibe Nation. West Coast Worldwide, get over there. I will be giving away the book on Sunday. I will have a weekly drawing every week, but all the details are there for how to get into the drawing and how to get on the high vibration. So let's check her out here. We're coming along. Soup is looking good. We're just pretty much going to wait for the bread to get the right. Got to check the bread because you don't want to burn it. Whenever you have anything in the broiler, you got to be careful. So let me get my bowl here. Get a bowl for the minestrone soup. I didn't tell you, minestrone is my favorite soup, but what happens is when I go into restaurants, they either are using beef broth or chicken broth, or years ago when I worked for my very first restaurant that I worked for, uh, the farmhouse, they ground up pork, and there was all these beef not beef, there was all these meat products in there. Delicious soup. But over the years, I've decided I love minestrone soup, but a lot of people make it vegetarian and vegan. It's very simple to do. But uh, sometimes they'll tell you it is, but then they use a base for the broth. And they'll use beef broth or chicken broth or something like that. And I don't need any of that stuff. And it's entirely possible just to make it and have a vegetable stock. Because you have all these great vegetables in it it makes its own delicious stock. So there's really no need, but I found when I'm out ordering, uh, I have to really be careful and ask people because I love to order it and then I find out it's loaded with beef broth and that's not my favorite. So this is something you can uh, make and feel really good about having in your house and make it for your family and it's totally vegan, uh, plant-based, full of nutrients, full of delicious flavors and fresh vegetables, and it's going to be so satisfying. You're going to just really feel great after eating a bowl of the soup with some good crusty bread. It's just very um, fulfilling on a beautiful wintry day like we're having right now with this type of weather. So let's check the bread. It's Oh, it's coming along. It's almost done. So let me start uh, dishing up the soup. And like I say, we can cook the soup longer, but I can serve it right now in as fast as 30 minutes. So, here is beautiful, beautiful soup. Look at that. Now, I tell you, wouldn't you like to taste that on a beautiful rainy day and sit down at the table and have a delicious hot bowl of minestrone soup, vegan? Well, you can. Just get the recipe and prepare it and let me know how it works for you. I'd love to know how you, the recipes go when you try them at home. So now let's get our bread out. Let's get the bread out because the bread is done. 
As simple as that. The bread is done. Let's grab, let's grab a couple of pieces. Woo, hot. To go with your soup. And there you go. Here's your meal. Here is your delicious wintry meal. Minestrone soup, vegan, with a delicious whole grain garlic bread. Uh, I am Stephanie Harris. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Remember, get over to the High Vibe Nation, West Coast Worldwide, and get in on the one-year anniversary of my coaching business. There's so many great deals coming down. I hope you have a wonderful week. Remember, eat plant-based. It's really good for you. And I will see you again next week on Girls Gone Vegan.